Hey guys, so I wanted to hop on here today because I want to talk about skin health. And as you guys, or some of you may know, I have been through topical steroid withdrawal and it was one of the hardest things I had ever been through in my life. I'll post some pictures here so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But this is something that people are dealing with all over the world. So I get messages, I get tagged in posts with people that are showing their symptoms of all of the TSW things that they're dealing with and it breaks my heart. And even though I have made a YouTube video or two about some of the things that I did to help myself get through it, I feel like there was a lot more questions from others about what I actually ate throughout the day, um, which was actually super important while you're cleansing your body and giving your liver a break from everything that it's going through while it's trying to remove the pharmaceuticals from your body. So I wanted to come to you guys with um, my bare face because this is no filter or anything like that and my skin has been amazing ever since I've done all that detoxing and removing all of those pharmaceuticals from my body and so you know of course on a regular got my celery juice um, but there's a few things that I would like to share with you guys that I do on a regular basis and that I did while I was going through the TSW that were extremely important that made me feel super comfortable with the itch and the pain while I was going through it. First off, if you were dealing with any type of skin issue, whether that be acne, rashes, eczema, TSW, weird bumps on your skin, anything, it has to do with the liver. Your liver is most likely extremely overburdened and it cannot detox all of the overload of chemicals, heavy metals, um, things that are basically floating through your system. And so it's using your skin as a way to try to excrete those things. So here are the top three things that I would suggest doing at least try these things out in the morning time for a few weeks and you will notice an extreme difference in your skin. First thing is I would start off with 32 ounces of lemon water, lemon or lime water. Wait about 20 to 30 minutes and then you are going to have celery juice, pure celery juice. Nothing else, plain, just celery juice. Don't add no lemon, don't add no ginger, nothing else to it, just the celery. It's medicinal. This information is from Medical Medium and I am so grateful for him. If you don't know who he is, look him up whether you are dealing with any type of issue because his information has helped me heal myself and helped me help others heal drastically. Now, even if you start with just those two things, you'll notice a huge difference in your skin. But here's a few other things that you can add. Mind you, I went through some drastic things to heal this. That's why I think I got through TSW so quick. Like I went raw vegan. And when I tell you guys that I went raw vegan, I took it to the next level because I was trying to get this stuff out of my, my system ASAP. I removed salt and also all fats and I lost uh, some weight, but I mean, I looked crazy anyways, like with all this stuff on my skin. So like, I didn't really care. I just wanted to get through this stuff and be done with it. And I did whatever was possible. So the next two things that I would recommend that I did on a regular basis was watermelon juice, cause it's extremely hydrating for the cells and super, super healing. I would do 32 to 64 ounces of watermelon juice. And then on top of that, I would also do the heavy metal detox smoothie. I wish I did the heavy metal detox smoothie more often. I feel like I would have gotten rid of the TSW sooner, but I didn't. And I'm telling you guys so that you know, so that you can incorporate those things. And the heavy metal detox smoothie is on Medical Medium's website. I kind of made it a little bit more easier and palatable for me. And I have a video on how I did that. Um, on my YouTube so you can check it out there from now on I'm gonna share more tips um, with you guys on like what I ate while I was eating raw while I was going through the TSW because I see you guys are in the thick of it and nobody knows what it's like unless you've been through it and I've been through it I know it's a part of my testimonies and I want to be able to share what I did um, so that you guys can get through it as soon as possible too and start living your life I'll even be posting more YouTube recipes that are raw and um, TSW friendly because there were certain things that just kind of triggered me that are even still beneficial for us when our body isn't detoxing through steroid withdrawal um, but they really affected me during that time so that's why I say TSW friendly. Anyways stay strong y'all you will get through this it gets better just don't resort back to the steroids just don't to be honest I would suggest to anybody don't resort to any type of pharmaceutical that they tell you is going to heal your skin because it'll only prolong you from healing. So, peace out, y'all. I'll see you soon.